All right, pet owners, this is for you. A new babysitting business could save you big bucks. It's called Dog Vacay, and it's growing at an incredible rate right now. Starting in Santa Monica, it's now gone global. The now Indies Candace Avila shows look, takes a look rather at just how much you can save. Hi, welcome. Meet Melissa Vardy and her two dogs. Come here, Jeff. Come here, Corsa. Back up, buds. She's going on her second year as a dog vacay host. Anybody that asks me what I do and I tell them I'm a dog vacay host often says, I've never heard of that. What is it? Consider it the Airbnb for dogs. The website connects hosts with people who need someone to watch over their pets. For us, it works great because it's in every city and it's, it's very convenient for a travel lifestyle like ours. Dog vacay CEO Aaron Hirschhorn says the idea came to him after having a bad kennel experience. My wife and I left our two dogs in a kennel on a 10-day trip trip, came back to a $1,400 bill and a traumatized dog hiding under my desk. That $1,400 bill more expensive than his vacation, so he created an alternative. On average, our prices are about 40 to 50 percent less than the local kennel and a far better experience because your dog's in a loving home instead of in a cage. The idea taking off. Starting with two employees in 2012, the company now has 100, providing thousands of jobs for those who qualify. Now we have uh, over 25,000 sitters across the U.S. and Canada. We're in over 10,000 cities, and we have booked millions of nights. We'll book millions of dog nights this year alone. When it comes to cost, hosts set their own prices depending on what they offer, with $15 being the cheapest amount per night. For us, it's boarding is 30 bucks a night. I've been told that uh, a kennel trip could run them upwards of $1,600, and with us it, it was around 500 So it's quite a big difference. <laughs> For the now, I'm Candace Aviles. Totally one of those, why didn't I think of that idea? Is when it comes to selecting hosts, Dog Vic has actually got a complex vetting process that only accepts under 20% of sitter applications. The company also recommends meet and greets between the hosts and potential customers to make sure the pets are comfortable.